Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at Meshi. So this 3D model is not made by a person. In this example, you can see that we have another asset and it's pretty hard to tell if it's made by a person or an AI, right? So you get these high quality 3D models within minutes. So this is one example of an image to 3D. And this is a concept art you can see. So you give this as an input. And this is the output model, right? This literally translates the concept art one to one. And here we have some clothing. So, you know, let's create our own models with this. This is going to be amazing. So let's make our own stuff. Now we're going to use a text to 3D model thing in this video but you can also use an image. The process is going to be very similar. So this is the create page and this is where all the creation happens. So, you know, when it comes to first impressions, I love how Meshi like gives you instructions to generate your model. And this is pretty cool, especially for beginners, right? So we start by creating our prompt. So let's start by making a character. So we'll create a creature or a demon. And after you have like written your prompt, you can go to the prompt library where you have additional prompts and here you have the style, you have material, you have the details and like you have other stuff here as well. So for example, you can go to the detail and this model is going to be organic. So I'm going to select that. So I also want this model to be highly detailed. And if you go to the character, you can basically choose the character pose. So Meshi is going to try to like match the character pose to whatever you have selected. So you can select whatever you like. I'm going to select the A pose. So if in the future I want to rig this or like animate this, that's going to be helpful. After that, you can select the AI model. So Meshi 4 is the latest model. So I'm going to select that. Next, you can also choose your art style. So you have realistic, which is going to give you realistic results. You have the sculpture mode, and this is also like a highly detailed mode, especially like good for sculptures and stuff. And you also have the PBR mode. So in that mode, you will get like all the PBR textures. The realistic mode works the best for me, especially for characters. So you can choose that. So this is looking good. Let's generate the model. The models are generated. It took about two minutes and it gives you four different variations to choose from. So let's take a look. I mean, all of these are fine, but we are going to select this one. I like this one. So for some chance, if you don't like your output, you can always regenerate this and this mesh looks really good. Now let's texture this mesh and this is where the magic happens. This is going to take some time to process. And you can see our model has been textured. You can see how detailed the texture is. I mean, this can easily be used in a cinematic or like a CGI short or something. Even in a game, you know, this could be rigged and animated and this could be used as a game asset. So I've imported this in Blender and you can always like sculpt on this mesh, right? So you can go to the sculpt mode and change some things if you want. So in my experimentations, I also generated a few models. So this is the wizard model that I generated. This is the dagger asset that I generated as well. So again, this is a really surprising guys. Go check out Meshi. I'll leave a link down in the description. So let me know what you think guys. Um, let me know what you think about AI and like um, th this tech, right? This is pretty exciting. I can't wait to see what happens in the next five years. 
सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू डिट प्लीज लीव लाइक डाउन बिलो सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज लाइक दिस एंड दैट्स प्री मच इट सो आई एम गोन सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो